UK has seen an increase in renewable energy capacity as the nation moves towards a low carbon economy. But what happens when solar panels and wind turbines aren't able to generate power when the grid demands it? Well, that's where peaking plants come in to provide on-demand electricity. And we're here today at Ashford Power Station, a gas peaking plant which can be ramped up in under two minutes when the grid demands electricity. This power plant at Kings North Industrial Estate, managed by AMP, has 14 engines on site, housed in giant containers with a total capacity of 21 megawatt and will run for 1,500 to 2,000 hours a year. The engines are similar to internal combustion engines and cars, but larger and burn natural gas instead of petrol or diesel. The facility is fully automated, unmanned, monitored and controlled remotely with the ability to dispatch power at the click of a button through a computer or an app. Ashford Peking Plant has won several contracts in National Grid's capacity market. So what happens when there's a stress event? If National Grid was to call us, um, that call would be sent um, over the internet into the, this is mainly the brain of this power station, and the command then is received and sent out to the 14 individual engine houses, as we call them, which each contain um, a, a gas engine with a generator, that signal is received there, says to them to start, they start and the power starts um, flowing. We're sitting on standby ready for the, either that call from National Grid or for a good market price to be available and for us to be able to trade, um, to buy the gas, to convert that gas into electricity and to sell that at a profit. Mark Terry from AMP says peaking plants are renewables enabling as they can help fill in the gaps when it's not sunny or windy as well as support the growth of new technologies like electric vehicles. It's designed to respond to that macro level um, price volatility, that intermittency that's been created by renewables. But what we're also seeing at a, at a lower voltage level is the growth of, of uh, electric vehicles and the electrification of heat. And that is uh, likely to continue to increase constraints at the low voltage network. So what we want to do is develop peaking plant that can operate at a low voltage network, not only to respond to intermittency that's created by renewables, but to also create power where and when it's needed most at that low voltage network. So by building two, four, six megawatt plants in urban and industrial areas, we can help create that capacity which will enable the other side of the coin, which is the growth of electric vehicles and electric heating. With the International Energy Agency forecasting electric vehicles to increase to 125 million by 2030 and renewables to make up more than 40% of supply by 2040, it seems plants such as this will play a bigger role moving forward. Priyanka Shrestha, Energy Live News, Kent.